Hey, welcome back to the Ping Pong Flick Show. My name is Chris Wong. We are um, almost the AT&T investors meeting tomorrow, or actually maybe by the time you see this today. Uh, and that's going to happen real soon. I'm going to have a little bit more info about that. Hopefully we get numbers for Restore Snyderverse. But today was really about the fans. The fandom today did some incredible things in regards to Restore the Snyderverse, and I'm going to tell you what that all is. But let's get into the topics today. The first topic of the day that I want to talk about is Army of the Dead. Netflix wants to let us know that Army of the Dead is in one month as of today. In one month, that's it. That's the tweet. We're going to get to see Army of the Dead, which is exciting. I mean, I'm getting into the zombie kick as of late, and Army of the Dead is going to be insane. It's going to be insane, and I can't wait to watch it. So um, that's the next movie I'm really excited for. Um, aside from this weekend, what is this weekend? Well, this weekend is Mortal Kombat, and Get Fandom put this out. It was a little little bit in a variety article and i'm kind of wary about what he's saying here it says sub-zero actor joel teslim says he's already signed on for four more mortal kombat films if the first is a success i don't like when they say that <laughs> it just reminds me too much of when lionsgate's power rangers came out and they said that we're gonna have like nine more movies and he gets you all excited for like a a, a power rangers new cinematic franchise and that never happened, right? It never made the box office bucks. Ludi Lin, who's also in this movie, didn't get to be Black Ranger once again. And it's uh, it's a shame. Um, and they're rebooting it again. So um, I'm always worried about when they say, oh, we're going to have sign on for more. And, and that never happens. Like even Superman Returns, we're supposed to have more as well. But, you know, I guess... I guess he's revealing that Sub-Zero doesn't die in <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Uh, that's just, like, a given. I, I mean, I guess no one really dies <laughs> in Mortal Kombat anyway. So, but um, I'm still excited to see this, though Embargo is lifting pretty soon. Um, kind of late, if you ask me. And I think it's because, from what I've been hearing, it's not that awesome. But, hey! I still can't wait to see it. I mean, I still can't wait to see this movie. I'm a big Mortal Kombat fan. Um, not all the games, but maybe half of them and the original movies, aside from Annihilation, uh, I, I dig Mortal Kombat. So I'm definitely, I still can't wait to see it. I don't know. I don't care what people say. I want to see it for myself. All right. Now, this is interesting. So in the in the age of cuts, right, everything's about, you know, Whose cut is this? Whose cut is that? David Ayer's cut, Zack Snyder's cut, um, and you know maybe there's a Godzilla vs Kong cut. I don't know. Uh, Adam Wingard cut. So sorry, but um, Kathy Ann has a cut, and she's mentioned it before. And DC Connection says it's a damn shame that we haven't seen the, a complete dance number, not even in bonus features. Kathy Ann was the whole thing supposed to be in the movie at one time, and Kathy Ann actually came out and said it right see this is when this is when all that ndas are gone like david ayer was starting to talk about hey they cut my stuff up man right there's there give them time give them time adam wingard already came out but he says oh well that was my cut you know give them time you know uh it's all publicity right but kathy ann now comes out once again saying yes it was so yes it was so there is another cut uh a different cut of birds of prey uh i'm kind of curious to see what that's like you know even for even for the people who didn't quite like it or things like that i'm wondering if you were curious um i watched it a few times again and then i can see some good in it i can actually see a lot of good in it. i i don't say it's necessarily my favorite even not in my, it's like my least favorite DCEU film, but it's definitely gotten higher in terms of the genre. Uh, and, um, and maybe with a few more watches, I can completely, you know, uh, have a little bit more uh, love for it. But I'm still curious what Kathy Ann's cut would have been like, you know? I mean, that's that's what happens like like if i don't like something i'm like well i, I i'm willing to give the the director the benefit of the doubt that that may have not been the director's cut and i'm wondering what the director's cut would have been so release the yan cut. release the yan cut sure 
Why not? Why not? All right. There was a cut that came out. That was Zack Snyder's Justice League. So I'm very thankful for that. But there's still a way to go in cleaning up Warner Media. And Ray Fisher is letting it known once again that they let Suji Hara step down. They allowed Whedon to exit. They've closed ranks to protect Emmerich, Johns, and Hamada. They've admitted to publicly releasing false information and refused to apologize. Accountability is not Warner Media's strong suit. Onward, accountability over entertainment. Now that I've pulled these tweets up, I'm ready to retweet that as well so yes i stand with ray fisher on this um definitely i don't know what's going to happen but they're still they really still need to clean house and jc kyla has not responded to anybody else uh who's who's commenting under him saying store to snipers or i stand with ray fisher or anything about that so i don't know what's going to happen with that but we'll continue to monitor this absolutely but a little bit more is Zack Snyder's Just League. Christina Rand posted this on Vero today, uh, posting you know the concept part of Wayne T. Carr as John Stewart, and also taking has a picture with Mr. John Stewart, aka Wayne T. Carr, <laughs> or actually it's the other way around. But and also Ray Fisher over here too. There he is right there. Uh, she had some uh, words to say. Man, Wayne would have been such an awesome superhero. It was so cool to show my sons this image of Green Lantern and for them to soak in as they are first learning about heroes. What this superhero looks like, who he is. I'm sad for a talented actor to not get the chance to shine as I know he would have. It's still so awesome to see him in the suit. Can't wait for the next door to open up for this guy. I was lucky enough to see him as Othello. Oh, he was Othello. Oh, years ago in New York and hang a bit in L.A. He's the real deal in spirit and talent. Ray Fisher has good taste in Friends. Uh, release the Snyderverse. Sure, it's not restored the Snyderverse, but you, we know it's there, so you may as well release it as well. <laughs> uh, release it with a budget of like $500 million or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah. Uh, that's great. Awesome words from um, Christina Wren. Whether or not she stars Sapphire remains to be seen. Maybe. Maybe when we restore the sniper, she could definitely become <gasps> Star Sapphire. Might as well, right? Why would why would Martian Manhunter leave her hanging? <laughs> uh, Wayne T. Carr himself um, in support of Restore the today. By the way, the fans were able to get Restore the to trend once again at 100,000 tweets. So that's awesome. Wayne T. Carr. Hey, AT&T, get in on this. Restore the Snyderverse. Uh, Amanda Mode. Uh, Maud? Mode? I don't know how you say her last name, sorry. Uh, and Ray Fisher. So he's probably watching the movie as he tweeted that out. Uh, definitely, of course, Restore Sniverse. So we, we can absolutely see, and I want to see, the live action Jon Stewart that he deserved to be. Um, and I, I, I hope that actually happens. Maybe one day, Zach could really just like leak that clip of him in the suit. Um, and I think it's pajama suit as well, maybe. I don't know if it was CG or something. I think he said it was CG. So, but still, yeah, like finish that up just a little bit. Throw it on something. Thumb, not thumb drive or something. <laughs> maybe we'll see it at the Snyder Con. Maybe. I don't know. In fact, about the Snyder Con, you know, I, I got an email from the Art Center. They were talking about probably the next event, uh, Zack Snyder's next event. And I was kind of like, oh that's interesting I got that through an email it's like some um, which is kind of cool um, yeah I'm trying to I'm eager to see that so let's let's see what happens with that anyway comicbook.com and other sites have been reporting that a van blasting restorer sniper's message circles Warner Brothers uh, the Restore Snyderverse movement continues as reports of a van carrying the message circling the Warner Brothers lot in Los Angeles today have begun to pop up on social media. The van carries a digital sign on each side carrying messages in support of more DC movies from Zack Snyder. Among those messages are quotes from various celebrities and fans that have shown interest in more work from the director at Warner Brothers. Um, plus, report of statistics that seemingly make the case for why the Snyder verse should continue. Not to be alone, however, the van was also accompanied by a plane carrying a banner with a similar message. 
To his credit, Snyder has spoken previously about these calls, even during the virtual Justice Con convention that took place this weekend. The director shared that he didn't expect anything to come from the campaign, but he would never say no to the possibility, largely out of respect for the deep reverence fans have shown for his work. I'll just say this, I think it is a concept that I believe shows sort of reverence for the work right. Snyder said about the restore movement and that way whatever it results in I have no idea and most likely nothing just based on you know you know like Warner Brothers right he continued that I guess my point is is that like the reverence for the work is a thing that I never would dismiss and or in any way say I don't respect and that I would not of course give my entire effort to support it because I think that we make the movies it's made it's finished it's there and all the characters and all the storylines and everything we understand it it's not like a you know and so if someone says to me no matter who that person is like I really love that thing I wish we could make we would make another one I personally I'm not a person who says like well that you know forget it like you know I just think that's rude <laughs> so as the director pointed out however there was previously a long period of time where it seemed unlikely that Zack Snyder's Justice League would be released at all what happened in the last three years for this movie to exist is impossible he added so that's all I think do you want to see Warner Brothers restored to Snyderverse sound off I guess you can sign off below He's on off below here too as well, you know, so, but uh, just to show you what that actually kind of looked like here, um, Supernova um, had a video from Geo here, and let's see if we can play it, if there's any, is there any sound coming from this thing? Okay, I don't think there's any sound coming from the thing, yeah, I don't think there's any sound. So, you've got some uh, visuals here, it looks pretty awesome. Restore a Snyderverse at at and and Max Warner Media. All the graphics here, Warner Media, um, AFSP in the corner too. We are not broken, we are not alone. Half a million to AFSP, and I think that said 1.5, and there's some some um, you know statistics about how HBO Max did and everything like that. So that's really awesome uh, with that. And also, uh, this plane, right? You know, the, the plane going over, um, just like the release of Snyder Cut days, now it says at AT and T, HBO Max, Warner Media, restore the Snyder verse, and there it is, the plane, the plane, it's the plane once again, which is awesome. I think it's awesome, definitely. Um, and and yeah, you know, maybe there weren't any, maybe much employees over there, but I think the whole point of this is so just to make noise. Snyder. You just swore a fucking Snyderverse, baby. That's awesome. But yeah, I mean, this is the whole point is just to make noise, to get it out there, to have uh, publications like bloggers, like comicbook.com, write about it, uh, to have it out there to show support for the Restore the Snyderverse. So I don't see anything wrong with that. So hashtag Restore the Snyderverse. Did a little bit of that today. So that's really awesome uh, to see that. All right. Um, some more numbers for you. Um, HBO Max, this is coming from TV Tech. HBO Max nets most subscribers in quarter one in 2021 per Cantar. And this is in, in lieu of no actual numbers from HBO Max yet. Um, hopefully we get them soon. We'll see. We'll see indeed. But for the second straight quarter, HBO Max has garnered the most new U.S. subscribers among the major streaming services with the Warner Media owned SVOD service netting a 14.4% share, all new subscribers in the first quarter of 2021, according to new data from Kantar. To do put it broadly, superheroes have come to the rescue for HBO Max. Since HBO Max announced that Wonder Woman 1984 and the full slate of 2021 Warner Brothers movies would premiere the same day on the streaming service as the new in theaters, HBO Max has led the field in new subscribers. The most recent quarter was boosted by the arrivals of Zack Snyder's Justice League, as well as Godzilla vs. Kong. Kantar says that HBO Max is also doing well in keeping its, subs its subscribers. In quarter 2 of 2021, HBO Max had a net promoter score measuring subscriber advocacy of 10th among streamers and now ranks second. Customers cite the new released films among the key reasons for this rise in satisfaction per Kantar. And then there's a lot of different... Uh, numerical things in there that you can definitely look at if you want to check that that thing out um, even more in terms of numbers Omar Al Raisi once again um, this is from the founder of that 
data and tan data neek um full global snyder cut viewing numbers taking into account the data and metrics from five top tv ratings platforms ott and a app uh, measurements global oh i'm sorry google api and then using our own ai and machine learning tech still in development to determine that the estimated numbers restore the snyderverse so here once again um they've updated this numbers to the graphics from the last time in terms of the views of zack snyder's just league viewing numbers to show how it did uh, you know globally globally right so take a look at that zack snyder's just league worldwide viewing numbers hbo max is, is that much so this is about uh, that's how they're estimating right now so um another graph showing um what part of all those worldwide viewing numbers and what 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 you know uh what apps were viewing those uh, you know viewing zack snyder's justice league so the which pie chart and stuff so hmo max is 35.3 percent and all these other apps are are uh consist of that so um and wants to clarify just to clarify we're a group of sport tech and media companies this is not what we usually do in our platforms not designed to set up to do entertainment numbers what we do know is intense data analytics and ai for sports tv ott app um, news media and more so it's just a, a estimate of what it's going to be what is actual numbers? I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and find out. Maybe not that far. Uh, Cigar Kalat uh, wants to say that um, the if you there's a YouTube link now for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Now this is not available in America because when I click on it, there's nothing. Um, I mean, it shows that it says you, you, I'm not no permission to access that. But if it's your country, you can check out for yourself. That you may be able to buy or rent of Zack Snyder's Justice League from youtube um so check that out i'll put that link in the description below um for for you people outside uh outside america for that so so check that out <laughs> um now it's about tomorrow tomorrow is seemingly an important day of course because it's an investors meeting uh russ barnes tomorrow april 22nd is at&t's earnings conference call Number one, today, April 21st, we make Restore to Snyderverse and hashtag AT&T invest in Snyderverse trend like crazy. Um, I don't know if AT&T invest in Snyderverse trend like crazy along with Restore, but I know the Restore to Snyderverse did. Um, we stream the hell out of Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max. Tomorrow, we tune in to the conference call at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Details in the link below. So there is a conference call coming up tomorrow. Unfortunately, I have to work but um maybe i can listen to this in the car or something but there is this coming 8 30 a.m eastern standard time um you know what i may actually be sleeping by the time this comes out in fact it may be actually going out like in five hours from <laughs> from when you see this video so it won't be that long so i'll, I'll won't even be awake i don't think but yeah there's a quarter one at t earnings conference call it's going to be webcast what's going to be on that call i've never listened to one of these before so i'm really eager to see what people think of this when i wake up um and hopefully i get to cover something right before i have to head out uh about this so quarter one at t earnings call crossing all fingers and everything but regardless of what happens if they're able to say anything at all i think we can continue just continue restoring snipers continue watching zach snipers just leave um and continue promoting it as zach said he's not going to stop us or he's not going to say hey i don't like that and stuff but we pressured the studio once i think we can pressure them again at least that's my hope in any case so there's that so be sure to um listen in and yeah let's see what happens tomorrow let's see what happens tomorrow all right well, that is it for the show. Let's get into the members' comments and questions now. All right. Uh, starting with Sean Donaldson. It doesn't matter if the movies are good. We will watch them. That being said, this better be home run or we will be in another five-year build. Uh, did we ever get any Zack Snyder's Justice League numbers? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> 
Uh, rest in peace to Brian Zapp, a monumental artist in the community. Looking back at his pieces yesterday, I was struck by how real so many of his depictions of the Snyderverse characters really were. I hope and pray other artists can rise to the occasion to match that sort of quality, but no one can ever replace the man himself. May he reside in heaven above. I mean, there's a lot of people, in, incredible artists in the community that definitely um, are... in. Just massive, massive labors of art, but incredible pieces. Um, but Brian Zapp did an incredible job, and we will very much miss Brian. We will very much miss Brian. So last night, in fact, some of my thumbnails from here will be just his work. And as you see, my thumbnail from that one it says right in the middle, Brian Zapp, his sig the signature Brian Zapp logo. Because um, I, I, I want to just feel like I, I should honor him that way. Uh, so last I checked, the scrolls in the MCU are good guys, and as of Spider-Man Far From Home, our agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. sword taking care of things while Nick Fury takes a vacation, and he's perfectly fine with it. So how do we get from scrolls as good guys to secret invasion? I don't know. I know very little about the MCU, so I'm, I'm probably, it's interesting because I get to be... Um, like if you wanted to know what would a mainstream audience react to MCU, well, you're looking at them right now because I'm as very much, I have no idea what's going on in MCU. Uh, I only learn about the MCU as I start watching the movies. Like that's it. Like as most, I know more about like Spider-Man because I remember reading Spider-Man comics back then. Um, but aside from that, I'm pretty much blank in terms of MCU. So in my mind, I'm like a mainstream audience going into the MCU. Uh, Batista for Bane. Benatista. <laughs> Benatista. That's interesting. Bane-tista. <laughs> uh, I would say Muschietti hiring Zack Snyder's VFX guy points to him wanting to take uh, style cues from Zack Snyder's just like. So yeah, that's even my hope as well because I know that dude respects Zack Snyder. So maybe he'll put it in where it starts blue and then the new suit will make it yellow, right? Uh, hopefully Andy Muschietti keeps the important parts of the Flash that have already been established. Yellow lightning or blue aside, Zack's work on the Flash is very thought out and makes sense for going forward with the character. Thank you, Jesse. Um, yeah, it could be. It could be. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering because even like Ray Fisher was all down with it. Um, and Ezra Miller is absolutely down with it. Andy Muschietti, um, you know, and the VFX guy is down with it. So maybe. Uh, film clips are often cut down. I'm not sure what that refers to, but I'll like it anyway. Uh, anyone else find it crazy that Disney Marvel always watered down and changed their characters or storylines, but when DC do it in the slightest way, Marvel fans hate on it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, I don't see any hate for Shang-Chi. Uh, and like I said, I don't know anything about Shang-Chi whatsoever. Like, to me, it just looks like a standard martial arts movie. Um, you know, and I get like martial arts movie and Chinese and stuff like that. Man, I could wish there was like one day, like there's were movies um, where there is, you know, not too many. I mean, I forgot there was that one movie that um, I, f I saw a while back and, I, and I'm trying to remember it, but it had an Asian father and um, and he was looking for his daughter but all you see of the whole movie was like through this webcam or something. I forgot. I watched a long, uh, not a, too long ago, but it was like a while back. And I thought that was great. That was awesome. I saw it on a plane. And I'm like, I want to watch that again. But I can't remember what it was called. And, it, and I think it was that, uh, I think it was Sulu, right? The, the new Sulu for the new Star Trek, I think, was that, what was him, I think. But I wanted to watch that again. I'm like, I can really appreciate movies that have, you know, there's an Asian uh, lead and he doesn't know Kung Fu. Like, I always feel like, do they have to know martial arts? Does it have to be a Kung Fu movie? Like, can, can a, a Chinese dude or an Asian dude just make a movie and he's the lead detective or lead something? And I know there's getting more of that now because, like, there was a, co a romantic comedy uh, with Amelia Clark, and uh, he, you know, they're, you know, they have an Asian lead in that and, and stuff like that. And well, well, even the um, Crazy Rich Asians, and he was in that too. So it's like they're 
there's that, but like I wish there was like a little bit more. You know, let's get that. Let's get it's kind of like speed, right? Because Keanu Reeves is part Asian and he was the lead of speed and he didn't need to do martial arts or anything like that. So I don't know. I'm just thinking yeah, that would be kind of cool though. From the Aquaman chapter, brothers don't shake hands. Brothers got a hug. It's a quote from Tommy Boy starring and said by Chris Farley. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe they should put the Iron Man 3 Ben Kingsley Mandarin in the Shang-Chi movie. Of course, they have their own ideas, but they got Ben Kingsley to act in Iron Man 3. He's an internationally and well-loved actor. To throw that premise away seems a waste of time. Almost like Warren Brother trashing the Snyderverse. What do you think, Chris? What does that have to do with the Snyderverse? I don't get it. Wait. Warner Brother Trash. Wait, what does it have to do with Ben Kingsley? I thought Ben Kingsley wasn't even in the map. Like he wasn't in the Mandarin at all. Like, he was he was just acting it out. Did am I missing something? <laughs> uh. I don't know. Uh guys, when the movie comes out. Please don't blame. And you know what? Now I'm thinking maybe Ben Kingsley will show up. I don't know. Like if that if he was really important important part of it, but I don't know. Actually, I honestly don't care. <laughs> uh, please don't blame Andy Muschietti. He just did his best. Everything is Warner Brothers' fault. Uh, not sure what's going on, but it's been the second night in a row I couldn't watch Zack Snyder's Just Lee on HBO Max. Really? Is saying it's having a problem playing the video, yet I can still watch Justice is Grey. That's interesting. You know, I get that from time to time on uh, different movies, but it happens more often with Zack Snyder's Just League for some reason for my, my device. Hmm. <laughs> Classic. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'm putting a lot of reface stuff on there. Oh, man, you're killing me with these. And having a lot of fun with it. So every time I get a new reface, I like, throw it up. Uh, rest in peace to Brian Zapp. Your artwork inspired many, but you as a person inspired so much more. About the meeting tomorrow, I'm in Central Time. The 22nd, are you hopeful AT&T will announce something then or a little later at the other one? Oh, and do you feel the Restored Sniverse movement is gaining its third win? I do. Anyway, keep up the good work, Chris Wong. Trying to help you keep that hot dog light on. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to expect from that meeting. Thank you, by the way, thank you very much to the members, all the members. And if you want to leave a comment, uh, please join as a member down below. All right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what to expect from an AT&T earnings meeting. Um, I, I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully, it, hopefully they are able to say things that, like, that are need to be known in public like things that to absolutely show the investors that they are working on great things and things like that and things have uh, have transpired and made the company successful um, so that means they have to be more transparent in that I think that's what we kind of want transparency um, and I I don't know if there that's always the case like that. You, you you see other companies being very proud of the content, and they too are proud of the content that they they put out. Except one movie, um, they put out things for Tina, um, they put out things for the Nevers, they put out numbers for like Godzilla. You know, they, they didn't put out numbers for Godzilla vs Kong. They put out numbers for Tina and the Nevers, um, and they've they've done that here again once in a while. To show that they mean a lot, right? And even Wonder Woman 1984, they 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 let Nielsen ratings do that as well. So um, maybe in this call, if that were to be brought up, they cannot, you know, block that. They have to be absolutely transparent about that. And that's all we can hope for. That. All right. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you absolutely love this daily dose of entertainment news and content, please get the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring that notification bell, keep this hot dog light on, and I'll see you next time.